Hey guys, it's Blender Helix Alpha from uh, Covalent Games and Way Games, Bloodstained Studios, all of those uh, things. I'm in a bunch of them now, um, helping out with stuff. And actually, now I am um, doing my own project um, called uh, what's it called? Elisidia, the Three Clans. So Elisidia, E L I S I D I A, the Three Clans. And I'm using this new software, Camtasia 7. Um, to record and hopefully it's going to be a lot better than my other crappy Windows Movie Maker. I'm doing a remake of my older tutorial, um, my just most recent tutorial um, on Muzzle Flash. What you're going to do is download GIMP from GIMP.org. If you don't know what that is, then just go there and download it. It's like a poor man's Photoshop. So you're going to press File New and just do the default. Select your bucket, go into and just uh, turn it black. And then what you're going to do is you're going to click your rope or lasso and you're going to go for a circular but jagged shape. Um, so I might have to redo this, but uh, I'm just going to try to get what I'm looking for. So just make a jagged shape like that. And I want you to color it completely red. Okay, so now that we have that, now what we're going to do is we're going to go, as that's still selected, we're going to go into filters, light and shadow, supernova, put that right in the center, turn the radius up a bit, no, it's not, and turn that, and turn the color on a light orange, I have FFE493. Um, so you can do that. A light orange. Turn the spokes all the way down. Oh wait, no, I'm sorry. Turn the spokes about... Mm, let's say... 15. And then you're going to want to press OK. So it's going to render that. And that's pretty nice for our first render. So after we're going to do that, we're just going to unselect that. And then after that, we're going to go to Filters, Distorts, no, I'm sorry, Filters, Blur, Gaussian Blur. Got to play around with this. Turn the horizontal and vertical on about 11. Okay. Yep, that's good. And we're going to go ahead and save that on our desktop just for uh, easy access. Going to save it under muzzleflash.png. Save gamma. Click that so you, it can save the lighting effects. Exit out of that. And exit out of that. And here's your thing. We're going to open up Blender. We have our default cube. We're going to go ahead and delete that. And uh, this is going to be a small tutorial on how to alpha texture a uh, plane. Gonna make a plane, zoom up, go into object mode, split your screen up here, UV image editor, open up your muzzle flash, go make sure you're in textured mode, press unwrap, get your muzzle flash going on, and uh, I'm gonna make sure that's nice and shaped well. And then after that, what we're going to do is go into the edit and go back to edit mode. Go into the editing tab, which is this uh, dotted square. Go into this where it says add multi tire multi tires. Go into UV calculation and then texture face. You want to select add. So once you have that, you have a perfect muzzle flash and uh, fit for a game to go in front of the character. And now, if you're doing a multiplayer game or something where the um, where the, and you can and you can uh, make different kinds of these and just repeat that process so you have a different looking muzzle flash so it's not just the exact same muzzle flash every time you fire your gun. But um, if you if you have a multiplayer um, game that where other people are going to see your your muzzle flash, you're not going to be able to see this. See, I flip around my camera and it's completely blank. Um, it's just because the normal is facing positively on the z-axis. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into edit mode, 
Shift D, and then just do not move your mouse. Just click. And what we're going to do is press one. Click this down. Hold down Shift and just move it down just a little bit. I mean, talking just a little bit. Then what we're going to do is keep uh, in edit mode. Go into your editing tab and click Flip Normals. So now you have a two-sided muzzle flash, and that's fit for a game um, at any time, and yeah, that's how you do it. Um, if you have any requests for tutorials or um, need me to explain a little bit more on this tutorial, um, please tell me. Uh, if you liked this video, thumbs up or uh, comment on it or rate or subscribe. Um, yeah, I might even be having some comedy um, coming up soon and look forward to that. Uh, yeah, it was really awesome uh, talking to you guys again. Hope you liked this tutorial. See you guys.